Hey, what's going on? It's Jens. Today I'm going to show you how to make liquid mycelium. And why? Because it grows extremely fast and you can create a huge amount of grain spawn with just a little bit of this liquid. Let's go! With my receipt and the technique I'm going to show you in this video today, you'll be able to grow a huge amount of mycelium within one week. Let's take a closer look. So everything you need to create your own liquid culture is basically sour concumber, a fresh honey, high temperature silicon or a self-healing injection port and some cheap filter tape. Step number one, you need to eat all the cucumbers because we want to make a lot of liquid mycelium like as I did here one week ago. Step number two, you need to drill two holes in the top of your cucumber glass. One is for the filter tape and the other one will be filled with a high temperature silicon to add other liquid mycelium, for example, or if you just use mycelium from an agar plate, you don't need the second hole. But the first is very important so that there is some air exchange, but there's no contamination possible inside because of the filter. You can also use micropore or a filter mat, which is normally used for an exhaust hood, which is extremely cheap. Now we just need to drill some holes. I'm using a diameter of four or five millimeters so that there's enough space to use a needle, for example, which is a little thicker. Now let's talk about the mixture I used. There are countless recess on the internet, but I think the easiest way is just to use honey to have a clear solution at the end, so it's easier for you to spot the mycelium and see if the mycelium is really growing. So I have mixed water with 3% of honey. Four is okay, but not more. And I've also added a magnet to the mixture, which is very important to break up the clouds of mycelium afterwards. And therefore I'm using this cool mixing device here. Of course, this is not needed. You can just mix it by hand afterwards. But when you have a lot of glasses, a lot of mixtures, this really yeah, just saves you time. And there's the one other reason, because it just looks amazing when creating those underwater tornadoes when breaking up the mycelium. Okay, now that we have our mixture, it is time to sterilize everything and then add mycelium and then see how it goes. Okay, there we are. Here we have our autoclave, which is able to sterilize even at 20 psi. Normally I sterilize at 15 psi, but when making liquid cultures, I only go up to 10 psi. And the reason is because I want the solution, the liquid to be totally clear. And when it's too hot, the sugar inside the honey might crystallize. And that's something I don't want. So I just go up to 10 psi and we're gonna sterilize this for about 45 minutes and then we're ready to go cool it down and then add the mycelium. And one very important thing, I normally add some aluminum foil so that there is no additional water and humidity coming inside. So the temperature is about 105 degrees at the moment, so I wait a little longer and then the temperature for me is okay. Maybe a little tip, I had some issues that the hot air came through the ceilings when the pressure was too high. So I'm using this tool to tighten them really extremely tight. When you're experiencing issues that hot air is coming outside of your pressure cooker, maybe this is an interesting tool for you. Okay, the pressure cooker had time to cool down. So we're gonna open up the autoclave and then inoculate the liquid honey solution with some mycelium. Let's go. Looks pretty good. It's time to add some mycelium. Now I want to make some liquid mycelium with some king oyster mushroom mycelium. And actually there are three different ways to do so. The first is just to cut the agar with the mycelium into slices and put the slices into the honey mixture. I like to scratch 
or scrape the mycelium of the agar and just put the mycelium into the solution. And the third one is just to buy a liquid culture syringe which is about 10 euro and use the liquid culture to multiply it. So after we've sterilized our scalpel with a blowtorch, we're ready to go and scratch the mycelium from the agar plate and add it to our honey mixture. I've repeated this step like three times just to accelerate the process of mycelium growing in the honey mixture. Then we just have to seal everything, therefore I use some parafilm and then we're actually ready to go. Now we just have to mix the solution a couple times like every one or two days to break up the mycelium so that after maybe one week those nice mycelium clouds will appear. If you think this video was helpful I'd really appreciate a comment and a like, maybe subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, maybe like how I built the cheap DIY lemina flow hood. Thanks for watching, have a good day and hopefully see you in the next.